Welcome back. Uh, Morten here. I'm gonna do uh, the answers to my Q&A video. Uh, and I might be doing this in two parts because uh, I want to get kind of into some of the answers and people tell me not to make my videos too long. So um, I'm basically just gonna start from the end. I picked out a bunch of questions that I want to reply to. Uh, and sorry if I didn't get around to yours. Some of them kind of warranted really long answers and I felt like it would put too much in the video like I'm doing right now. I'm starting from Harry. How does schizophrenia influence you? Negative, but also did it affect you positive? And which music do you like? Well, um, it influenced me negative. I talked a bunch of that about that in my other videos, but did it affect me positive? I don't know. Um, I guess it, in a way, because uh, I've had a lot of time for introspection, but I'm not sure I would have needed it without the schizophrenia, so. Next one. How long has being ill affect how has being ill affected your relationships with family, friends and girlfriends? And do you ever feel like being diagnosed with a mental illness is just society putting a label on what you naturally are? Or do you really feel like it is a sickness you have to endure and overcome? Well, uh that's a that's a big one. Um in my case I don't I don't think there's any anything wrong with me at the moment necessarily. Uh but sure, I do have problems with, with fitting into society and all that, but I think that's not the same for everyone. I th believe that there are people who are way sicker than I am, who definitely need help regardless of situation. But in a, like when I was living in the forest, I was doing fine. Um, I didn't mind that at all. So I guess, yeah, part of it is just society and all that. Society, man. Uh, let's see, next one. I can see, hi, I can, it's from Bambi Slam one Hi, I can see motivation is an issue. Uh, it usually is. Just wondering if you have problems with sleep patterns, nightmares, slash dreams, flashbacks, and how to deal with them, take care. Now, I actually don't have those really. I haven't had a nightmare in many years. Uh, I have really weird dreams too, like they're not overly positive or negative, and usually completely unrelated to pretty much everything, so not really a problem except with the sleep patterns I do have trouble with that and I'm not dealing with it so I guess that's my answer waiting with that until later do you think the media portrays me mental illness well from rhinoceroses and beetles uh, benches rhinoceroses and benches that's hard to read do I think mental, the media portrays mental illness well no I don't um, I think it gives you a really bad picture actually because I've met many people who have never been in direct contact with mental illness before and they have all sorts of assumptions and that they make based on what they've seen in the media and it's usually incorrect so yeah uh, I got a whole bunch of messages asking about my tattoos so uh, here they are this one is um, actually from an old game XCOM Apocalypse, which is one of the older ones, not the new one. It was actually a gang sign in the game uh, that I've been wanting for a while, so that was the first one I got done. And this one is, um, <clears throat> well, it's a stylized version of the Eye of Perdition, uh, and it's actually an album cover uh, from a guy named Panic that I'm going to put a link in the description to, so you can check that out if you want. Yep. Those are my tattoos. I don't have any more yet. And uh, do I have any plans for the future? Anything I'd like to, to do? Um, nope. I really don't know. It's been a, a big thing for me for a while because I really don't know what to do with my life. And uh, if I if I if I knew what I wanted, that be, it'd be easier. I'd like to think, but not yet. So I don't have any. I'm just going to keep increasing my educational level since it's free for as far as I want until I find something to do. That's my plan. Uh, what do I think about Americans? Well, I think uh, they're great people for the most part uh, and I think they have a terrible government, but that's just me. It uh, doesn't matter which like if you're a Republican or a Democrat or whatever, I just think the whole system is kind of screwed up with the, all the lobbying and all that. 
not really a fan of that. But nice people. I went to high school in the US, in Ohio, a while ago. So, yeah. Oh, and the last one for this video. Uh, what was my most awkward, embarrassing encounter I had with a really cute girl? Uh, must have been, what, 18? 17, 18. Uh, and it was actually my first girlfriend at the time. Uh, and we were, were, you know, teenager making out in a, in a dark club room type thing. And uh, I couldn't see her face. So when I tried to kiss her, I got her nose in my mouth. And uh, she started laughing at me and I got really embarrassed. It's actually not that bad, but I just remember it as being very embarrassing. You know? Anyway, uh, stay tuned for part two, I guess, that I will be uploading as well.